What's going on guys, it's Deathmonk here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Scarlet. Now in case you're wondering where on earth I am at the present moment in time on this uh, map, uh, you'll, as you guys can see, we left um, the area of, what's the name of this place, Medali, and we made our way to the north and west, and we made ourselves up the snowy mountain to the place where I currently am, amongst all these uh, ice-type Pokemon. So I've been making my way up this hill, Starting from more or less that direction. Now, apparently there is a... Oops. I did not mean to run into that snarrant. Um, but once you've made your way down here, up all the way up here, there's actually another town at the top of this hill. Just grab that. Um, as you guys can see, that's the uh, small town at the top of this mountain, all the way up there. Right. What is this Pokemon that's trying to attack me? Listen, Pokemon. Not right now. Now, just before I get myself under attack again, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, that was not intentional. I'm going to quickly do a few revives and a few heal-ups, just to prevent us from getting hit again. Uh, high portion. Ooh. Actually, super portion. For that... Come on. I'll, I'll use one more on them. And quickly use one for Fletchender. Okay. Okay, so let um, me figure this out. Okay. Somehow I feel it's not letting me up this mountain. Uh, am I going the right way here? Hang on a minute. Jesus. I'm trying down to end. I can't speak. I'm trying to identify the correct direction I should be going in here. Just grab this item. Poison jab. Uh, let me figure this out. I should be going to somehow get up the side of that mountain up there. So as you guys can see, I've got snow. Uh, I've got ice type Pokemon scattered everywhere around here. Interesting to take note of. Uh, just before I start recording this episode, I managed to get myself a Cryogonal. Um, oops. Uh, I think if you make your way over to certain places on the uh, map, there's currently a opportunity to get a Terra Poke a Terra Pokemon. Now, if you just give me, I'll just pause this for a moment. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, if I go on to, I think, I can't remember if it's on Pokemon's website or not, but there's an opportunity to actually get a, a couple of Pokemon. I think it's depending on where, which uh, version of the game you have. Um, now, if I'm just going to go into my Poké Portal, um... I can't remember where the news section is on this, but uh, if you're going to, do we? Actually, I'm just going to go into the um, internet or online mode. Now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'll see if it'll let me go onto the news. Will it let me on news? Oh, there we go. So, if we just go quickly onto news here, you'll notice there's an opportunity to get High Dragon and Dragapult. Now, if you've got Pokemon Scarlet like me, then you'll have the opportunity to get High Dragon. If you have Violet, then it'll be Dragapult. So, these are only available until the rest of today. At the time I'm going to this video, the 8th of January, 2023. So, I'm going to see if I can get maybe... If I have the opportunity to, I'll see if I can find myself a potential High Dragon. Actually, just as I say that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go back into the Poker Portal here... Quickly click on Terra Raid Battle and see if there's any opportunity for me to potentially get a High Dragon. Uh, not yet. Okay. Now, you'll notice that you'll have a High Dragon in there, potentially, if uh, you manage to find a level 4 or a level 5 Terra Raid Battle. Now, uh, due to the amount of time I've been playing this fall so far today, I've not managed to encounter one of these yet. Um, ooh, 
Might as well go for this bear tick right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pyro ball. Uh oh, snowscape. Ah, failed. Right, we're good. Uh, so let's quickly use pyro ball on this bear tick. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hopefully capture inside an ultra ball. Let's go. So I've at least got an ice type. Oh, three level ups there. You'd love to see that. Got Bear Tick, the freezing ice type Pokemon. Quickly send it to the one of the boxes. Okay. Interesting to see. Oh, hello, hello, hello. What? Flora Gato is evolving. Got our first. Fully evolved starter Pokemon, Meowskarada. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. The Magician Grass Dark Type. This Pokemon uses the reflective fur lining and is kept to camouflage the stem of its flower, creating the illusion that the flower is floating. Interesting. And then the move Flower Trick. Now, I'm going to see if I can do some research onto this. What is it? User throws a rigged bouquet of flowers at the target. This attack never misses and always finds a lantern critical hit. That's pretty good. Uh, 70. What I'm going to do is I'll get rid of leafage for that. Okay, good, good. What? Potential double evolution here. Fletchend is now evolving. And for those who are fans of the anime, will know what Pokemon this is. Talonflame. To the Pokédex. Okay. So let's continue making our way up the mountain, just after that double evolution. Got a cub chew here, we've got this rather in I'm, st I'm just curious to know what this Pokemon here is. It's been stuck me for a while. A catoddle. I don't like the way the cameras have been angled for this one. Um flame charge please. Okay. Don't know why, but that Pokemon specifically was uh, annoying me so much that I had to get myself one at least. Terror Whale. Okay. Possibly related to Whalemer. Interesting. Another Ice type. I wonder what the. Ro oh, oh, might see some rare spawners. There's a Cub Chew, we've seen them before. Another Katoddle, another Cub Chew. I want to see if I can potentially get myself a whoop. Snom, is it? I think. Snom? Yeah. Okay. If I'll let me get up the hill, please. Actually, I'm just going to get my, uh, this Pokemon. I can never remember the name of this Pokemon. Um, what's this? Is it on top of the mountain or is it the bottom of the mountain? Uh, actually, you know what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly make my way up to the top of this town. Then we can save it as a, a fly location at least, if that makes sense. Then once I've saved that, then we can... Uh, uh, I need to find out how do we get at the top of this... Oh, here we go. So this is interesting. Is. So basically once I made it to this Pokemon Center, I should be fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly heal myself up. Then we're going to make our way down to the bottom of that place. Um, and work from there, hopefully. Okay. Now I'm going to get some new, more Pokeballs here. 
And I'm surprised I don't actually sell the... Oops. Uh, figure this out. How many have I got? Yeah. Actually, whilst I get this, I'm just going to quickly grab this item. Snowscape. Okay. Now, just before I carry on, I want to see what that... And just before I carry on, I want to see if there's any... Potential... Terror battles from up here. No new postings. Doesn't seem to be any sight of any sign of one at the moment. Which is a bit unfortunate. Grab that ice heel. I can't remember which way I just came from. Um grab that. X speed, loads of gasleys and haunters. Um There's an, there's another cryogonal right there. I'm gonna go for this um Terra Crystal thing. Litleo. Bulk up. Got loads of ghosts down here. Modest mint. Hmm. Sup. Yes, yeah, sup. More bomb transport is service. Wanna say we have a quick battle. Headbutt. Okay. Pyro ball. Oh, it held on. Another couple more level ups there. Guess I wasn't wild enough. <laughs> Lol. Right, um... Okay. Grab that. Awakening. Another cryogonal up there. There's got a Sneasel. Got another random Pokemon. No idea what that is. Full heal. Uh, looks like another Snom. Another Cubchu. Got another... One of those Pokemon I've just recently got a moment ago. Revive. Ooh, Frostless. Ghost Ice type. Nice. Okay. Let's go, in, instant catch. You know what? I don't think they really need two fire types on the team. I think I'm gonna probably gonna get rid of Talon Flame. Get Frostless on my team. Cause I think that's gonna probably gonna make a huge difference in the Elite Four when we get to that stage. Got an Ether there. Let's see that. Got another train up here. Which I think is the one we went past a few moments a few minutes ago. And at the Dragon Tamer. Uh-oh. 
Dragonair. I probably should have healed up Cinderus there, but never mind. Wow. Okay. So it's not the other trainers were as strong as you. You're right. <clears throat> now Got Sneasel there, we've got a I never remember the name of that Pokemon. That almost you almost rounded me there, never mind. The main one I definitely wanted to get there was Frostless. Now I think what we're gonna do is we're going to do the ice gym in the next episode. I don't know what this is all about right here. Ooh, is this a battlefield? Nice. I love what you've done with that. Um, I'm a bit worried about that snowscape move, if I'm honest. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to play a part. Wait, what have you got to say to me? Ten trainers up here. Wow. What's have we got down here? Well, no. I want to see what that Pokemon is down there. What on earth is that? Oh, is that just another potential terror raid? Okay, Cacnea. Why would they have a Cacnea up here? I, I'll never know. But, uh, Sourcebook, Dealing, Snova. Forgot the name of that ghost Pokemon. Oh no. Where? Oh, Cubchu. Oh, I went myself like, what the heck? <laughs> just ran into a random tree and I just got a random Pokemon to spawn on me. Okay, um. A few more of those weird looking Pokemon, I have no idea what they are. You got three gym badges. Let's see. Let's see if you got let's see if you really got three gym badges. Fill the interview at the Pokemon League. Okay. Marcos the Black Belt. Poor Mart. Electric type, of course. Counter. Okay then. Okay. Let's see if this theory is true. Are ice types better than electric? Yes, you did. You have three gem badges and you still got beat by me. Ha <laughs> ha! Max portion. Is this just an alternative way up? Another item here. Time of all times three. Let's go. A few bergmites. I think I'm just going on the other side of the mountain here, aren't I? Oh, is this the Pokemon I saw earlier? Mouscarada. Flower trick. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think I'm going down the mountain that way, aren't I? Um, what on earth is... Oh. Bergmite. Just run into it.
false palm. I'd love to know where. Uh, hang on, let me just just gonna thingy one more time. There's gotta be a. They only come at certain points of day. These uh, two individual Pokemon, or do they have to? Hmm. I don't know if you have to get so far into the game then they'll unlock. But um, if anyone's got any ideas where potentially Dragapult and that other Pokemon may be. Hi, Dragon. Let me know in the comments box down below, guys. Apparently, Reshiram is in Pokemon Go Tier 5 Raids, if anyone else is interested, by the way, as well. Uh, get my bones, yeah. I think I need to go this way. In the direction of the uh, gym. I don't know why they've individually picked that specific Pokemon there for this uh, specific... Terror Raid there, but uh, not sure I'm going to get to that item there, but never mind. Bunch of Sneasel. Okay. So I've got Cinderis, Masquerada, Floatzel, uh, Lycanroc, Lucario, and Frostless is who is on our team now for those who are interested. Um, oh. Well, I'm just went off the mountain. There's a Cub Chew. Another Bergmite. I want to see if I can get for that, uh, this Pokemon right here. <laughs> it's halfway through the net. <laughs> okay, so we've got an Avalug. Don't know what this Pokemon to my left right here is, but, uh... Wow. Oh, and he's got a burn. Lovely. Recover. No way. That's actually a very smart move, to be honest. Okay, so he's down to half health. Or she, I should say, shouldn't I? Wow, crunch. Hmm. Think is it's smart enough to do it again. Iron defense. I increase its defense, of course. Is that going enough to take it out? No. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tactically go for this. Because I know the next turn it will probably die, die from its burn it's got. So I've got the Avalug. Another double level up there. Iceberg Pokemon, as Avalog walks along with Bergmite on his back, he comes across pods of Satitin, or Satitan. It lets him pass to avoid conflict. Okay. I've no idea what Satitan are, but, uh... I'm distracted by this Pokemon on top of the thing here. How do I get out to that? Oh, 
Oh, it's a gimmick coin. Okay. I think we'll take one more trek down this mountain right here, then we're going to finish the episode off. This is another Pokemon that's been distracting me for a while. Bronzong. I thought Bronzong was a different typing. Am I crazy? Extra. Uh. So I think it's a steel psychic? There's no way it can be ice. Whirlpool for Floatzel. Um, I'll be honest with you. That hmm. You know what? I'm going to get rid of Swift, even though it's got higher accuracy. But being trapped in a water for takes four to five turns. That is actually pretty effective. Steel Psychic. I knew it was Steel Psychic. Okay. Um, just trying to find. Is this similar? I don't know if I. I think I'm pretty sure I did take her on, didn't I? Yeah. I didn't want to run into him. Hopefully it'll let me run. Yes, it has. That was not intentional. Bronzong. Cup chew. I think it's more or less taking me back down the mountain now, isn't it? I want to see, because I'm pretty sure earlier on I did see this um, Pacific raid thing that was going down, back down the mountain. Then... If I manage to find it, guys, I'll quickly resume the video. Right, guys, fortunately, I did manage to find it. So I got a, a, found a pack of Litleo as well as a Pyro there, for those who are interested. There's also another pack of them, or pride of them, I should say. Uh, the one I've managed to find, sadly, is another Avalog, but, uh, which is okay. Um, so that's no, not really many hard feelings there, to be honest with you. Um... Sadly, I've still not found a single uh, Terror Raid for um, Dragapult or High Dragon. That's not going to give us any help with that specific individual Pokemon there. But um, I'm not exactly sure what the requirements are if I actually managed to locate one. Um, I have had a look on the map. As far as I can see, I've not been successful in finding one. Uh, there's actually a, another group, another base which we could do for Team Star potentially. Um, there's another fire crew base all the way over there as well. Um, I'm still having a look around. There seems to be. Where's the Gorsa? You know what, guys? Just to finish this off. I'm going to go over to Naranya Academy so there appears to be a dragon. Um, potential raid. Now, of course, High Dragon is, of course, a dragon type, so potentially we may be able to find something there. So, just going to quickly fly over to Narania Academy, then we're going to fly back to that other location at the end of this episode. Um, now, just trying to see if this is actually anything, or is it just, just possibly related to the um, actual location of where I'm at? Because I'm spamming A out of this area and I can't seem to get anything. Um, we have to do some more re-extensions of what these exact symbols mean. Um, I thought it may have something to do with like the typing of uh, different raid battles, as a guess. But um, if anyone's got any idea what these actual symbols mean, again, let me know in the comments box down below and I'll uh, see if I can get some... I've been looking all over for this, guys, but I haven't seemed to have much luck. Which doesn't necessarily bother me in the slightest, but... 
it'd have to be there for a reason, otherwise I wouldn't have put it there in the first place. So... Now, just going to quickly see what this uh, sparkling... What's it called is over here. Now, if this, if this leads to nothing, then... Um, I'll move on and I'll carry this on another episode, but um, now, I don't know if the colours potentially mean anything that these things are giving off. Oh, right, Hopip, whatever your name is, can you please clear off? I've got better business to attend to rather than being pestered by you guys, thank you. Um, I don't know if the lights that these are giving off mean anything. I'm not sure what Pokemon that is. Now I'm just going to make way over into the now for those who don't know with my Karagan Right Starly I know I've already got one of you already Now oh now I don't know if the colours that these are giving off suggest any Right hop it I've told you once I'm not telling you again clear off I wish they despawn rather than make them reappear after every time, but just notice there's another Pikachu here. Um, I don't know if the, the colours that these are giving off actually suggest anything or mean anything. Um, but if, any, if anyone else got any other ideas or what these could potentially mean, let me know in the comments box down below as I'm keen to put 2 plus 2 together on this. Um, so I haven't had much luck with finding any of these. If anyone manages to find a high dragon using the techniques I'm trying to use, let me know in the comments box down below and I'll keep you guys updated here on the channel. Uh, as you guys can clearly tell, I'm not having much luck with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way back all the way back over to Glustier or Jim. And we're going to end the video there. Let me know what you guys thought of this in the comments box down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. If you're not the channel, smash the subscribe button. Don't forget to notification bell so you can see more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.